Let's continue our division of fractions. Activity number five, word problems. But before we will start para sa mga bago pa sa channel natin, ito yung FB ko. At ito namang Philippine Civil Service Review for All. FB group ito kung saan pwede kayong mag-post dyan at marami tayong mga FB members na haping sagutan yung mga tanong ninyo. Or pwede rin kayong mag-share sa mga reviewers nyo. Ito naman yung iba pa mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan at FB pages na posibleng makatulong sa inyo. Sa mga naghahanap ng mga libreng printable na reviewers, punta kayo sa files ng grupong ito para sa detalye kung paano kunin yung mga libreng printable na reviewer, reviewers, please see description ng video ito. Now, problem number one. Basahin muna natin yung directions. Solve the following problems. Reduce to lowest term if possible. Pagdating sa mga final answers, always remember na dapat simplified form na siya. Number one, a candy bar is two-third of an inch long. If it is divided into pieces that are one-seventh of an inch long, how many pieces of candy bar are there in all? Doon muna tayo sa simple. Example, a candy bar is one inch long. Example ito. If it is divided into one half inch long, how many pieces of candy bar are there? So, ito yung one inch na candy bar. Hatiin siya in, in such way na ang kada piece ay one half. So, ang half dito ay ito. So, ito ay one half. Hatiin man na tig tag one half. Ito ay one half. Ilan yung one half dyan? One, two. So, ang sagot dito ay two. Kung i-divide natin yan, one divided by one half. Sa division of fractions, kopyahin itong one. Ang division maging multiplication. Reciprocal sa divisor natin, two over 1. Always remember, lahat ng mga whole numbers mayroong 1 na denominator. So, numerator tayo 1 times 2 equals 2. Diba? Pariho lang siya. Another example. Halimbawa na ang tanong ay doon pa rin tayo sa 1 inch long na candy bar. Tapos, if it is divided into pieces that are one fourth inch long. So, ito yung candy bar. Kailangan natin yung kada isa daw ay one fourth. Ilang one fourth ba sa one? Ito ay one half. Ito ay one fourth. So, dapat hatiin na tig one fourth. Ilang one fourth dito? One, two, three, four. Four. Now, doon tayo sa division 1, divided by 1 fourth. Kopyahin si 1, ang division maging multiplication, reciprocal nito 4 over 1. Always remember, lahat ng mga whole numbers mayroon 1 as denominator. So, numerator to numerator, i-multiply natin yan, and this is 4. Yung denominator na 1, pwede namang wala. So, ito na yung simplified na sagot. Now, doon na tayo mismo sa problem. A candy bar is two-third of an inch long. Two-third. If it is divided into one-seventh, into pieces that are one-seventh of an inch long. Ibig sabihin, two-third divided by one-seventh. Division of simple fractions. Kopyahin si two-third. Ang division maging multiplication, reciprocal ni divisor, 7 over 1. Numerator to numerator, i-multiply mo yan, that is 14, over denominator to denominator, and this is 3. 
Ang 14 over 3 ay improper fraction. So, kailangan natin yang i-simplify by dividing 14 by 3. 14 divided by 3 lang 3 ba sa 14? 4. 4 times 3, this is 12. 14 divide, I mean 14 minus 12, this is 2. Itong 4, yan yung whole number. Itong 2 na remainder, yan yung numerator. At ito namang denominator dito, yung pang-divide natin, yan yung kopyahin lang natin, yan yung denominator. Therefore, sa tanong na how many pieces of candy bar are there in all? Four and two-third. Next, number two. A garage has two and two-third, two and two-third meters of cord. If they divide the cord into pieces that are, ang kada piece ay two-fifth meters long, then how many pieces will they have? Division pa rin tayo. Two and two-third divided by two-fifth. Pero bago tayo mag-divide, lahat ng mga mix numbers or mix fractions, dapat i-convert muna natin into improper fraction. So, 2 and 2 third. 2 times 3, ganito yan. Sulat natin. 3 times 2 plus 2 over 3. Meron na yata akong na-upload na ganito kung paano from uh, mixed fractions to improper fraction. So, 2 times, uh, 3 times 2 or 2 times 3, this is 6 plus 2. And this one is 8. Kopyahin si denominator na 3. In other words, itong 2 and 2 third ay pariho lang sa 8 over 3. So, ito ay 8 over 3. Ang division maging multiplication, reciprocal sa divisor, 5 over 2. Now, numerator to numerator. 8 times 5, and this is 40. Denominator to denominator, 3 times 2, and this is 6. Itong 40 over 6, malis pa natin yan. Pwede mong ilist muna or pwede mong i-divide. Doon muna tayo sa ilist muna. Again, para sa nalilito, lagay na lang natin lahat. Pwedeng ilist muna natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 2. So, 40 divided by 2 equals 20. 6 divided by 2, and this is 3. So, itong 20 over 3, improper fraction yan. So, i-divide natin si 20 by 3. Ilang 3 ba sa 20? 6. 6 times 3, 18. 20 minus 18, and this is 2. So, ang sagot ay... 6, yan yung whole number. Ang remainder ay 2 at kupayahin si 3 na denominator. Another way, yung 40 over 6 ay improper fraction yan siya. So, i-convert na natin yan to uh, mixed fraction. 40 divided by 6, ilang 6 ba sa 40? 6, 6 times 6, 36. 40 minus 36 and this is 4. So, this is 6. Yan yung whole number natin. Yung remainder na 4, yan yung numerator. At kopyahin lang itong 6 na denominator. Now, itong 4 over 6. Mas simplify pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 2. 4 divided by 2, and that is 2. 6 divided by 2, and that is 3. So, ang sagot dito, kopyahin muna natin sa 6. So, ang sagot dito ay 6 and 2 third. Pareho lang din, 6 and 2 third. Next. Lim has 15 and 1 fourth kilos of grapes. Meron siyang 15 and 1 fourth. He wants to divide and pack the grapes into 3 fourth kilos. How many packs of grapes can he make in all? 
So, i-divide lang itong 15 and 1 fourth by 3 fourth kilos. Itong 15 and 1 fourth mix number or mix fraction ay kailangan natin i-convert into improper fraction bago natin, bago tayo makaproceed sa ating division and then multiplication of fractions. Now, 15, lagay natin ha, 15 times 4. Laging i-multiply mo yan kapag mag-convert tayo into improper fraction. Tapos, i-add mo yung 1, tapos kopyahin lang yung denominator na 4. So, we have 15 times 4, this is 60. 60 plus 1, 61. Kopyahin lang si 4. So, this is 61 over 4. Si division maging multiplication at reciprocal ni 3 fourth ay 4 over 3. Now, pwede na tayo makaproceed. Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. 61 times 4. Ganon. Kaso nga lang, meron tayong shortcut dyan kaysa mag-multiply mag pa tayo ng 64 by 4. Pwede namang i-cancel ito. Meron tayong 4 sa taas. Mangyayari lang to sa multiplication, ha? May, meron tayong 4 sa taas at meron tayong 4 sa baba. Kasi dinivide mo lang yan. 4 divided by 4. So, wala na yan. Ang natitira mo na lang ay 61. So, kopyahin mo na lang. Sa denominator ay 3. So, we have 61 divided by 3. Yung ginawa nating nag-cancel out, pwede namang mangyari dito sa previous na problem na to. Okay? Instead na Mag-multiply tayo numerator to numerator, 8 times 5 equals 40. Pwede namang 8 divided by 2, so this is 4. 4 times 5, this is 20. Kupyahin na lang si 3. Pansinin kung nasaan yung 20 over 3 na yan. Kapag i-convert natin itong 20 over 3, nandito 20 over 3, ang sagot pa rin yan ay 6 and 2 third. Now going back, this improper fraction 61 over 3, I must simplify natin yan by division. 61 divided by 3. Ilang 3 sa 6? 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. Bring down mo si 1. 1 divided by 3, ilang 3 sa 1, wala. 0 yan siya. So 0 times 3, and this is 0. So, 1 minus 0 equals 1. Ang 20, yan yung whole number. Ang 1, yan yung numerator. At kopyahin lang itong 3 na denominator. Kaya ang sagot sa number 3 ay 20 and 1 third. Laging tandaan when it comes to mathematics. Para may matutunan kayo, never memorize the answer. Kasi hindi yan nakakatulong, kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you and God bless.